This is Paige from Mosaic Moments, and I have an exciting layout demo for you today. I'm going to make a page with the X Factor dies, which I know many of you have been loving. This demo will be a bit longer, but if you want to watch a quick overview, you can click on the pop-up link on the top right. For my layout, I'm using pattern number 373 from the gallery. You can also view more page ideas for the X Factor dies on mosaicmoments.com. The link is in the description below. My page will be using the 4x4 X Factor set and the 2x4 X Factor die. The 4x4 set comes with this frame that fits the grid, plus the layering die, which I will use to cut my photographs. The set also comes with four other small pieces and today I'll be using the 2x2 two two size and the layering die that comes with that. Right here, this is the 2x4 die, which I love. Now that you have been introduced to the X-Factor dies, let's get started with the demo. To begin, I am cutting a base piece or background piece with the 4x4 die from set A. I used some washi tape because this is patterned paper and I don't want it to look crooked on my final page. Next, I'm using the X-Factor frame die. This is the biggest one in the set. And I'm rolling it through and it got stuck in the die, which does happen. So I'm going to use my tweezers to get it out. There's little holes behind the die you can push through. Now I'm going to start cutting my photos. So I'm using the layering die from the X Factor set. By the way, this is the crease pad. And if you have the Sizzix Big Kick die machine, the crease pad is great because um, a lot of you can see that when you use the dies, the photos may have a little indent or embossed edge around, yeah, after you cut it. And the crease pad actually helps your photos stay smooth and you don't have that creased edge. So I highly recommend it if you have the Sizzix Big Kick. And you may want to try it out with other die machines as well. All right, here's my last piece. And here we go. So I'm holding a dispenser of repositional glue. This is the Hermadado dispenser. And right now I am just gluing down my squares or pretty much the background piece for the X Factor die. So I gotta say, I love the grid paper. A moment ago, I accidentally put on my square a little crooked. But with the grid paper and the repositional glue, you can just pick it back up and realign it. So this is the X-Factor frame, and I am putting the glue on pretty carefully. It is a very thin cut, so you can bend it or tear it by accident, so be careful. And now I'm going to place it on top of my square. And the nice thing about having the square actually is... Because this die is so thin, it's very easy for it to get distorted when you put it on your grid paper. And when you do it at home, you'll probably see like the die might be a little uh, warped <laughs> when you put it on. But with the square in the background, it helps you see, oh, okay, it's not warped. Um, it helps you shape it uh, better, more straight. So I'm just finishing up my last two pieces here. And as you see, I'm using my finger to, I know this is really quick, but basically I use my finger if it does look a little warped on one of the sides, I just kind of like push it into the square with my finger. And the nice thing about having the repositional glue is you can just, like I did now, completely pick it up and put it back on again, which is great. Now that I have my frames, I can start placing my photos right in the center, which is the easiest part, really. All you have to do is place the glue on the back, and then you kind of just have to eyeball where it goes in the center. If you notice, it does not fill that entire middle space, and that's because we like to use 4 by 6 photos. Um, so if you want a photo that would fill that entire center spot, you would have to use a 5 by 7 and now I'm all done, and that was really fast. 
Now I am using the 2x4x factor die. And just a quick note, I, am, I do have the die in at an angle in the machine. And this is because we find that putting the die in at an angle gives you a cleaner cut versus if you just put it straight through. I did use my tweezers again because the cardstock gets stuck in here pretty good. It takes a minute to get it out, but there it is. I'm using the same die again, except this time I just want to get the two triangles in the center. So I just cut enough paper to get those two pieces. And it's really easy to just pop them out with your finger. And now I'm showing, um, I have, I'm using a pattern paper and so I want them to look straight on my page. So if you need, you can turn your die a different way. So your paper will cut in a certain direction. All right, so the last part for this die is cutting the photographs. And again, I am using my crease pad here and I'm just going to pop the top and bottom one but you could use all four if you wanted your entire 2x4 die to just be photographs so I'm just going to roll through real quick and get the rest of them done here and now I'm you do want to pay attention to the direction you cut with the die before I was doing two vertical photographs and now I'm cutting to landscape or horizontal photos. So here's the last one and I'm finished. So I went ahead and glued down the 2x4x factor dies to pretty much the same directions as the big one. And now I'm just filling in the triangles with these pattern paper cuts I made. And if you are using pattern paper, make sure they're placed inside correctly so your pattern actually looks straight and not upside down or sideways. The last part for these is placing in my photos which is again the easiest part. I use my repositional gl glue and place it right on in. So I'm going to finish up the last two photos here. As you can see it's really easy. You put the glue on the back and place it right in the spot that it fits in perfectly. For my last design, I'm going to cut my background with the two by two square die from set A. And these are the two smallest dies from the X Factor set. So with my biggest one, I'm cutting it with pattern paper. And for my last piece, I'm cutting this photo as a fun little detail on my layout. All right, now it's the final part. It's really easy. You just glue the back of the background and place it on the grid paper. And next is this X factor shape. And then the corners show up from the background piece. And last thing I'm gonna do is layer my photograph right on top to complete my page. All right, here is the finished layout and it looks amazing. The X factor dies, of course, create amazing pages and you can see lots of ideas on our website again the link for x factor ideas is in the description below let me know if you have any questions and definitely give this video a like if you love the x factor die i hope to see you next time have fun scrapbooking at home